Well, hello, ladies. Um, I thought that I would share with you my um, spring-summer 2014 sample collection. Maybe not collection, because I think I'm going to be adding more to this. But um, I just purchased um, some sample items um, the other day from Stella and Dot. And um, I have had uh, the chance to wear some of the items so far. And I thought what fun way to show you um, all of the items that I got by kind of showing you the um, outfit that I had worn or plan on wearing um, with the new stuff. And then um, I'll point out some of the oldie but goodie type items that I threw in there as well just to kind of see how things work together. Um, so I think what I will do is I will start with first the items that I got and then show you how I pair them up with um, a top only. I, I didn't feel like showing you the bottoms as well. So um, really quickly, um, I'm going to show you um, what I got. So I got the double clutch perforated um, in citrine so this is um, the the clutch that opens up with the mirror in the middle so I'm going to show you the mirror and I haven't even used it yet but here's what that looks like there's really nothing there's no pockets in the middle here um, but what I was telling some of my friends is that you know if I had receipts or like um, you know papers or what have you I can just kind of stick in there in between and it'll probably stay put and then the two um, zippers on the side, um, so one is just a big giant hole that you can probably stuff, um, you know, your phone and whatnot, and then the other side uh, contains all of the credit card slots. So um, here's what the other side looks like. I believe it can store up to one, two, three, so six credit cards, and you know, like your regular um, credit card slot. So I think this clutch could actually double up as um, a wallet as well, which I really like. And I was not sure if I wanted the citrine color versus the geranium, which is more like of the corally orangey red. But um, I'm actually kind of glad that I got the yellow or the citrine because I think it um, adds that much more of a pop. So bravo. Um, so to, to kind of coordinate with that, um, I don't have any yellow scarves. So this is the Parm spring i think um or whatever the, the the style is but this is the um the scarf in the citrine as well um it's it's the the summer edition so it's a, a little lighter as compared to the um the most recent fall winter kind so um you'll kind of tell um you know by by feeling it a little bit here that this is more in line with the uh the turquoise palm spring ikat uh scarf that um i showed you in my previous videos um, and then what I have um, is the Nora pendant. So this necklace um, came out as a preview at the end of last year, early this year as a holiday, kind of like a preview holiday type um, um, uh, in, in the preview to spring, I think. Maybe not the holiday collection, but preview to spring. So um, I only got the pendant. I did not um, buy the the cuff bracelet or the earrings. I was contemplating getting the earrings, but I've been having issues with my ears and, and kind of not um, liking heavy earrings or um, not real sterling silver type uh, earrings. So I wanted to stay away from that for a while while it kind of gets used to the um, um, because costume type jewelry. So I just got the pendant um, and I actually am glad I did because I was debating this necklace as well. Um, this is a good mix of color, like pop of color with this yellow. And um, I really, really like this detail here at the neckline because it it's different um, and it just kind of works for me. Not too keen on um, this big giant like sparkly thing, but because there's only three of them, it's minimal, you know, it, it works for me. And then I got the Naomi Cluster earring. So this is the stud version. This goes with the LOD necklace, which I did not get, but um, I saw somebody um, showing this on a YouTube video um, recently and I thought you know I really like studs and I like statement studs um, that's what the back looks like so I thought that this would be a, a good complement to the Nora pendant um, instead of buying the Nora earrings because you know sometimes I don't really like the whole matchy matchy too much matchy matchy kind of annoys me a little bit um, 
This is the Sardinia necklace uh, or pendant necklace. And again, I only got the necklace part. I did not get the uh, bracelet or the earrings. I'm not sure what I think of the earrings with the whole. I, I, I understand the versatility of it um, and the fact that the earrings can be worn three different ways. But I kind of feel as if I'm going to lose the two parts because I wore this the other day, this necklace. And not that I was dancing or anything like that, but I was moving around and this part here, which you all know can come off, came off like two or three times during the night. So I am actually a little leery of um, things that can be uh, taken off, which I understand because of the versatility of it. Everybody likes that, but I'm afraid I'm going to lose parts of the earrings or the necklace. And I, I took a chance with the necklace and thankfully you can kind of tell when this part is, you know, no longer on you because this is a pretty substantial um, pendant. And so you can kind of feel it when it's no longer attached to the main part of the necklace. So, um, so I went ahead and got this anyway, even though I know that there's, you know, the, the chances of me potentially losing um, a portion of this necklace could be there. Uh, it's not 0%, but I, I went ahead and I'm glad I did because I, I really, really like this color. I really like the fact that, um, you know, by itself, this looks really cool. But then when you add this um, end part of it on, um, it, it just, it's just awesome. And here's what the clip looks like for those of you who um, are wondering. So this is basically the ending part of the clip. And the back of the pendant looks like that. So you kind of hook it in um, to the, the bottom of this guy here. So that's the Sardinia. And then um, these were kind of like last minute additions. Um, well, I should say not last minute. This guy, the Renegade in the Rose Gold, is something that I immediately thought of buying right away. And the reason being is that I use the gold and the silver one all the time. So I had no doubt in my mind at all that I'm going to be using the, the Rose Gold one. And I love Rose Gold, so, you know, not even a question at all. This, however, the Peach Amelie bracelet. So um, this is basically supposed to be the counterpart to the Somerville necklace. Um, the peach color, I was not sure if I was going to get it or not. I knew I wanted the silver um, grayish one, but um, I thought that it will be nice to have this peach because I saw... Um, Somewhere, either uh, as a marketing material or somebody had posted on Instagram or something, they had this peach Amelie bracelet together with the Renegade in rose gold. And then they paired it with this Jackie Link bracelet. And I thought the combination was to die for. And this Jackie Link bracelet is a nice chunky gold bracelet. It has a good weight, good feel to it. And it, it does not feel cheap or chintzy or whatever. And I thought, like, even just the two of them like that is really cool. And then when you add on the Renegade, it just looks so awesome. So now that I have this guy in peach here, I'm I'm debating if I should get the studs. Because I had the Nancy studs in gold. And I'll show you this. But I also got the Nancy studs in the sterling, in the silver and the, the grayish, you know, um, stone. Um, but, like... I'm debating if I should get the the Nancy and the Peach. So those were the three bracelets that I got, um, you know, that I, I want to show you here. And then over here, um, this was also a last minute addition. Um, I got the Milana tassel necklace and the, the bracelet set. And um, I was debating and debating and debating. And then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go for it because this is... Um, a very apparently already very popular with the customers and the hostesses and things like that so um, I haven't had a chance to wear it to wear this yet but I am very happy with um, this last minute you know addition to um, the collection because I really like the the brushed uh, gold here and you can't tell really but sometimes it looks silver like, you know, with this, this, this hematite color and then there's like the, the gold, um, throughout. I'm not sure if you can tell in my yellow light here, but, um, it, it's actually, 
not super shiny gold, which I, I really appreciate and I really love. So you can, in theory, wear this with gold or silver. So if you want to pair up with like, you know, some sort of brush silver, not like the super shiny silver earrings, but I think if you went with like um, something that's more brushed like, like this, I don't know if you can tell. It pro you probably could um, do the pairing or, you know, like the, the brush gold and whatnot. So that's um, that's the Milana um, tassel necklace and the bracelet. And I really like that against my blue top here. Um, and then the final, well, not the final, but towards the end here. Um, and I'm going to ignore these three things here because those are old items and I can talk about it later. But um, here are the Nancy studs um, in the silver and um the gray i've worn this several times it is extremely sparkly you kind of can tell maybe how sparkly it is i don't know if you can tell but um i really really like these um i probably will wear these a lot because i really like the shape the size the sparkliness level and um here is maybe i know this is not as as brushed looking but I think that kind of goes well with um with the Milana tassel and then here's the the Amelie um bracelet you know the I showed you the peach here's the, the silver and the the gray I have worn this um okay I'll talk about this now I have worn these three things together so here's the vintage stretch um bracelet in the silver and then I don't remember the name of this guy but here's the sparkly um, bracelet so together they look super awesome and what I did yesterday or earlier this week I wore these as my bracelets my arm party and on my neck I had this old um, goodie necklace from several several catalogs ago this is called the Marrakesh bib I think is what the name is um, I really like the the ribbon the satin ribbon that ties the necklace together but it's just so luxurious and so gorgeous and so appropriate for um, the upcoming spring and I think that the combination of that necklace and my new Amelie bracelet with these two, you know, oldie but goodie bracelets um, just made it look super awesome. And then, of course, as earrings, because I had such a big giant statement necklace around my neck, I just wore these uh, Nancy studs. So that um, ended up looking really, really cool. I'm trying to think what I wore from a top perspective. Um, oh, you know what I did? Um, I actually wore just your basic t-shirt um uh like it's a modal jersey t-shirt and it's only one solid color and the color that i went with was jade green so i actually had um this over my jade green neck, um shirt and then i had these on and it looked really nice and i think i had a, a pair of black pants on um this actually this combination that you're looking at right now actually works really well with this blue top that i have on here i don't know if you can kind of see but um i think anything that you see on this top here um looks looks pretty well um, together and then over here um, I have not yet worn the Nora pendant but I have like I said worn this Naomi cluster earring um, love it love it I'll probably wear these guy these guys together um, and then from a bracelet perspective I fully see you know um, wearing this I think that looks really cool um, and then, you know, I'm not sure if, if this goes too well together because of the, the yellow. There's not really any rose gold tinges there. Um, but, you know, I have um, the Renegade in the gold, which I think would, of course, go well. And then um, I did not get this in the regular gold, so that wouldn't go. But you know what? Even if I just did that, I think that looks really cool. And, of course, if I'm wearing my Nora, I think adding that clutch is going to be absolutely brilliant and then if I don't want to wear the Nora I always have the option of wearing just a scarf and maybe I can wear the um, arrow um, mark necklace uh, that that's uh, part of the delicate um, collection um, and then go from there so I really I really really like that oops sorry um, and then the other thing that I was thinking of is um, maybe what I could do if I'm if I were to wear this outfit um, again, I would pair it up with um, the Sardinia with or without the the bottom pendant. 
Um, but I think the fact that I have this black cardigan with the, the cool burnout um, jade green black um, colors here, I think this pop of color is absolutely gorgeous. And then I think what I would wear from an earrings perspective um, is I would wear it with a Nancy stud. I think these Naomi clusters might might work too because there's the coral color here so that could go real well as well and of course the greens um, will kind of match with the with the shirt color um, and you know uh, I actually was trying to think you know why did I spend so much money on my final sample um, and the reason for that is ta-da I bought the stone Sutton necklace in the blue green color so um, Here's what I'll tell you about this necklace. Um, it is actually pretty substantial in weight. Um, it's not like super heavy or anything like that by no means, but I have a friend that has the regular um, Sutton and I remembered um, borrowing it or wearing it just to kind of try it and see. It's not as heavy as, as this version. And I'm guessing that the white version of this Sutton necklace is also going to be as heavy as this. Um, I wore this for the first time the other day, not as a statement like this, but I wore it long. So um, if you are interested, um, I think everybody knows this. You can wear the Sutton five different ways. Um, but here, nobody ever showed me like the actual hook and what it looks like. So here is... Um, the hook for this Sutton necklace. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So basically what you would do is this hook is attached to one end of the necklace right here. So when you pull it up together, you'll have this like random, I've always wondered what this random dangly part is. Well, at the end of this dangly part is the hook that you can basically hook around your neck so you can wear the entire thing as a statement piece. But where I was going with um, with my description is that I wore it long. So I took this gold strand out and I basically had this on. And the shirt that I um, had on was actually not a plain solid colored shirt. I had um, um, a, a top that was basically yellow and black and white. Um, and it's like this pretty pattern of flowers, you know, like kind of modern looking flowers. And so I wore it like this over the yellow top and um, it looks really, really cool. If you are following me on Instagram, um, my handle is plaingal79. Feel free to add me, you know, so you can kind of look and see some of the Stella and Dot um, tags that I, that I post on there. Um, but I thought that this was amazing on with um with a printed top i thought that it would look kind of busy way too busy and way too much but it actually works pretty well the one thing that i don't really like about this necklace is this like and you can see that i'm trying to play around with this this like this one piece here that you can take off and wear it by itself because it's supposed to be a standalone necklace as well it keeps getting tangled up um when it's like long like this I don't know why. I don't know if it's me or or because, you know, I'm not laying it right or whatever, but it, it, it has a tendency to like um get kinda stuck and twisted and whatnot. But you know, nothing <laughs> first world problem, this is really not a big deal. But anyway, here's a Sutton necklace. Absolutely gorgeous and brilliant. Okay, so um, those are all the items that I got this time around. Um, I am in the process of closing up a trunk show. Um, so I likely will be um, ordering some more stuff after that. Um, and uh, we'll see where I end up with, um, with, with extra things. Oh, my God, I completely forgot. I also got these rings. So this is the Caitlin Mixed Band Rings. I don't know if you can see it is so it's a mixture of rose gold silver and hematite and um, I love these rings I have not taken them off since I got them well maybe when I shower but it is so nice and so cute and of course I wore it with this pairing over here that I showed you earlier alrighty um, talk to you guys soon thanks so much for watching